Hi, it's Lisa here from Capstone Editing. This video is another in the series about the finer points of the APA referencing style. Providing a page number is an essential aspect of correct referencing, regardless of in which style one is working. In the APA referencing style, confusion arises particularly in relation to when a page number is needed and what to do if a source does not have page numbers. Most authors using APA know that they must provide a page number when quoting directly. For example, as one study noted, the importance of women's participation can be seen from the military significance of their contribution. However, APA, along with most referencing styles, also recommends that you provide a specific page number or numbers for ideas you have paraphrased or summarised from another's work. This could be a page number, for example, P.1, as you can see from this slide, a page range, for example, PP1 to 2, or non consecutive page numbers, for example, PP3, 5, 6 to 9. This example shows how this looks in a paragraph. If you're citing a work in its entirety rather than just an idea within it, page numbers are not required. Just mention the author or authors and the publication year. For example, a study by Lyons 2016 investigated the effectiveness of traditional plagiarism detection methods for identifying ghostwritten essays. If necessary, to help your reader find the cited information more easily, you can also provide location information such as the chapter, section, paragraph, footnote, table or figure number. Providing location information is essential if a work doesn't have page numbers. For example, some ebooks, websites, or blogs. In this case, you should refer to a paragraph number or numbers if available. For example, if you're citing information taken from a post on my blog in 2016, it would look like this. Lines 2016 observed that academic and university standards are not simply at risk, but under direct assault, paragraph nine and proposed a range of solutions aimed at addressing the problems, paragraphs 10 to 12. You can also refer to a specific section heading or abbreviated heading in quotation marks if it's long, and a paragraph number within that section. I look forward to sharing more of the finer points of APA referencing with you in my next video. As always, if there's something in particular you'd like me to explain, just let me know. You can always contact me via the Capstone Editing website. Thanks for watching this video and please remember to like it and share it with your friends and colleagues.